Hello everybody and welcome to another Stacking the Shelves. Welcome to the post-Christmas Stacking the Shelves. Um, I can't wait to see everybody's post this week's week. It's Friday and it's holidays, okay, <laughs> this week. Um, and I hope everybody got as spoiled as I did. Um, and I can't wait to show everybody what I got. So um, I'll start with the most exciting thing that I got, which is, drum roll please. Yeah, I'll stop now. An iPad. Um, I'm so freaking excited about this. Um, I've actually read two books on it already, and it's, freaking awesome. Um, I got all my books on here and woo Nelly. And I can't wait to read them. Um, so yeah, so first I guess I will show you the ebooks that I got this week. Um, I got two from Adol Vice. Um, I got Winger by Andrew Smith, which sounds really good. Um, it sounds it's a heartbreaking heartbreakingly funny story, which is such a good mix. Um, so I can't wait to read that one. Look at that cover though. Apparently he's like a rugby player, but barf. <laughs> and I also got Linked by Emogen Housen, which was what my wow a while back. So I'm very excited for this one. It sounds very good. And I have to thank Blythe of Finding Bliss in Books for tweeting me and telling me that it was on Adol Vice. You rock and thank you. <laughs> um... Oh, and for a tour with Candace's book blog, the promotion, the tours that she does, I got um, Wish I Could Have Said Goodbye by Sherry A. Brady. I think that's in February. Actually, I think my tour stop for that is on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it sounds like a good contemporary that deals with issues, and I'm, I'm all about the heartbreaking issues. <laughs> Which leads me to the two books that I purchased for my iPad because now I just want to read everything in ebook because it's awesome. Um, I bought Flawed by Kate Avalon. I had pre ordered this one actually on the book depository and the paperback got pushed back so long. So I was like, screw it. And I bought it in ebook and read it and it broke my freaking heart like a million times. And I was depressed when I finished reading this book. Like, it was the hardest book I've ever read. It was, oh, oh. buy a box of tissues before you read this book. It is, it's so good. It's so good, but it's so heartbreaking. Um, and I also got Ask the Passengers by A.S. King. Um, this author is currently rocking my face off, and I'm loving what I'm reading from her, and I can't wait for this one. Um, and I think that's all I got for, I have no idea if that is all I got for ebooks because everything is just everywhere on here. I have no idea. I really have no idea. I could just show you everything and I probably think it was new. Um, but yeah, we'll stop there. <laughs> um, so for physical books, I got two books in the mail. Um, I won from, um... Gisela, Gisela of Expresso Reads, she had, I never know what to say, is it of? Like I know Christina says Christina of a reader of fictions, but I always say like Jenny from Alluring Reads or Giselle from Expresso Reads. I don't know, is it of or is it from? Things to ponder. <laughs> um, so I won from Giselle of Expresso Reads. Um, Love and Other Perishable Items by Laura Buzo. This sounds like a book I'm going to love, and I can't wait to read it, and I like the cover. I think it's really cute. I heard it's, like, in Australia, it's called Good Oil, which is a good name, but I wonder if it's about, like, working in the oil fields, because I live in Alberta, and it's all about the oil fields here. <laughs> um, and I also got from Hatchet Book Group, from Hatchet UK, this one's coming out in April over there, and I got Monument 14 by Emmy Laybourne. I haven't read it yet, but I think I'm going to like it, um, so I can't wait to read it. Um, yeah. uh, okay, and then I also bought a book today on sale at Chapters. Um, I bought The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han for $3.99 in paperback. $3.99, that's so cheap, right? That's like used book price. 
so. But you know what I hate that they do on their sale books? They put like a little felt mark and I hate it. I guess it's for them to know what books are supposed to go on the shelf, but I don't like it. I always dig through. Sometimes I get lucky and find one without the mark, but not often. Um, okay, and also for Christmas, I got a $50 gift card for chapters from my brother-in-law, who freaking rocks. Greatest gift ever. <laughs> um, I got World War Z by Max Brooks for $10 on Boxing Day. It was on sale. All these next ones I bought on Boxing Day. Um... But this one, ever since seeing the, holy crap, this one's a paperback and it's originally $21 for a paperback. That's insanity. Um, but yeah, ever since I saw the trailer for the movie and those zombies crawling over each other like a mountain, it looks intense. So I want to read it. And it looks like it's really unique. Um, it looks like maybe it's interviews with survivors and like the chapters alternate. But yeah. I'm excited to read this one. I want to read it before the movie comes out. And I also got um, Wonder by R.J. Palacio. I had never heard of this one, but I saw that it was Heather's kids pick. I, I don't know who Heather is, but she picked it. And then I wanted to pick it for myself. Um, but once I looked it up on Goodreads, I saw that it had a lot of good reviews. And I want to read it. I believe it's about... Um, it's a middle grade novel about a boy with a facial deformity, I believe. So I'm excited for that. Issue book, issue book. Yeah. <laughs> and I got The Unwritten Rule by Elizabeth Scott. Looking back, I really don't know why I bought this because I really don't like feet. They're gross. They shouldn't just be hanging all out like that. It's like seeing a boob. You just shouldn't just stare at people's feet. It's awkward. But it sounds good. But look, and then on the back there's Perfect You, which is other feet. This lady has a thing for feet. At least those ones are covered. Um, and I also got Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. This one I finally bought because it was 30% off. This is the most expensive paperback ever. It's $29.95. Holy sh crap. Um, but I wanted, I've wanted to read this ever since I read, um, Breed by Chase Novak and realized that I want to read more adult horror slash thriller and it sounds really good and I like the cover. Like, there's a lot of hair. <laughs> and then there's none. Anyways, okay. Um, so yeah, that is what I got this week and I hope everybody got as spoiled as I did and make sure that you link me up to your book haul because... It's post-Christmas book haul. Hello. Um, but yeah, this will be my last post before New Year's. And I hope everybody has a safe and fun New Year's. And I have a Giselle. So cheers. And I'll see you in 2013. Bye.